Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Smash My Foot. Like many PC gamers, I have a problem. My Steam library is out of control. I purchase most of my PC games because they're a good deal, not necessarily because I really want to play them. I also buy PC games in bundles because it's cheap, which means I get the game I actually want for five bucks or whatever, in addition to getting a dozen other titles I have no intention of ever touching. My close friends and family members that share their Steam libraries with me have a similar problem. Way too many games, not nearly enough time. I'm sure there are some great gems hidden in this steaming pile of Steam games I've never touched or barely played. So here's the plan. First, I'll make a spreadsheet of all 800 plus games in my Steam library, which includes the titles my friends share with me using Steam's Family Share feature. Second, I'll generate a random number to determine which title I will play. I thought of using a random number generator, but that just didn't do it for me. I decided that it would be fun to roll dice and add them up, but I would need a lot of dice. Like, a lot of dice. Even more dice. All the dice. After rolling all these dice and adding them up, I realized that I still couldn't hit 800 with what I had. Instead of buying even more dice, my friend Tigor gave me a better idea. Why not just roll three ten-sided dice, one for each digit? This way I could actually reach the higher numbers on the spreadsheet without incurring unnecessary costs. I like this idea, so we'll use the patent pending Tigor method of random number generation going forward. Third, I will record myself playing 15 minutes or so of each title with live commentary for your entertainment. With this in mind, here are the three basic rules I'll follow for this series. Number one, I have to be able to both run and record the game. This is pretty self-explanatory. If my computer can't run the game, or if I can't get footage of it, I can't make a video. Period. Number two, while all games will be chosen at random using the patent pending Tigor dice rolling method, I do get veto privileges. If a game has a type of stuff that might get my videos taken down, such as licensed soundtracks, or games from companies that frown upon uploading videos of their content, then I don't want to touch it. Number three, I'm going to stay positive. If you're looking for profanity-laced rage fests in your video game content on YouTube, I'm sorry, but you're gonna need to look elsewhere. If a game is bad, I'll say so, but I'm gonna give each randomly selected title a fair shot. I like to focus on the positive, so that's the angle I'm going to take with this series. As long as any game randomly selected by the patent pending Tigor dice rolling technique meets these three criteria, we're good. Whether they're AAA published titles, or small indie efforts. Either way, they're fair game. At the end of each segment of this new series, I will lay down a verdict on whether or not I would actually keep playing the game in question. I don't believe in review scores, since a 10 for you might only be a 5 for me, or vice versa. But I will at least give a verdict on what type of player these games would be good for. With that said, I'm going to get to work on producing these videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss what I pull out of my steaming pile of games. And make sure to leave feedback in the comments below. Thanks ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next time.